What's good everybody, this is Whiteboy503, and uh, in this tutorial I'm going to show you guys two things. How to um, play play games on a uh, P PlayStation emulator, and then how to install it and configure it, and all that kind of stuff. So first, what we're going to want to do is you're going to want to go to here. Um, link will be in the description. This is for the emulator. Uh, you want to download, just download it. And um, if you do not have an extraction program, you could just Google 7-zip and download it, install it um, for your right operating system and all that kind of stuff. And just, it's really easy, so... You don't really need uh, any tutorial on how to do that. I may end up doing that later, though. And then you want to click 7-zip. You want to go to Extract and Extract to EPSXE. And then when you have that open, uh, when you have that downloaded and everything, I will have I will provide the BIOS and the plugins and all that kind of stuff that you're going to need. So you're going to click EP... Um, I can't ever say that right. EPSXE. There we go. And then you want to do... Um, well, you got to configure it first, I guess. So you go to video, and I will have everything configured the way um, it needs to be. But if you want to change it or anything like that, if you want to make it run faster or you want things to run differently, I don't really know exactly how you would do that. But um, you can come through here and you can just mess with these settings. Um, I usually just click nice so it's it runs smooth. Um, and Or you can change it to fast, and it will just keep going. It will go as fast as it can, but it won't... Um, run as smoothly so I always click nice and I'm going to click um, Windows mode just so uh, when I pull it up it doesn't take up the whole screen and it may not even show up on the uh, uh, recording so you go through that and then you can go to configuration you can change the sound if you need to um, but I would recommend just leaving it if you I just leave it there's no real point in changing it uh, and then your CD-ROM if you're going to be using um, an actual CD you plug it in and then uh, change or select the right one um, I always click this one and just leave it. Uh, and then your BIOS file. What you want to do, you make sure you want to do this. So I have it wherever you have the um, the folder for the emulator. You need to go to that folder like this right here, the EPSXE. I, I'm, I think I'm gonna get that by the end of this. Uh, by the end of this recording, I'll be able to say it perfectly fine. So you go into here and then you go into your BIOS file and then your BIOS folder and click on your BIOS file. So you click that and then click OK. Bam! Now we're done. Um, I'll show you guys how to run it in a second, um, but first, um, how to un-ECM un your file, uh, your PlayStation games. So sometimes if you download games uh, from like Emu Paradise or ISO or Cool ISO or Cool ROM, my bad, CoolROM.com, uh, they'll give you uh, a file that will have, um, uh, it'll be ECM instead of an image file. So what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to download another program that I'll have a link in the description, it's Pack ISO. And you want to install it, just go through all the stuff, and then what you want to do is click on the ECM file. I can't click on it now because it'll pull up something different. It'll pull up what it should normally, um, but through the first time you got to set it up. So I'll click on this instead. Uh, so you go here and select um, from a list of installed programs. Go to Browse. Go back to your local disk and click on the files, uh, program files x86 because it'll install it in there. Then you want to. Then you're gonna want to go to uh, Pack ISO, and then you're gonna want to click on UnECM. And I'm not gonna click on it, but you'll just click on click on it when you have this, and then you'll double click on it, and it'll decode the game. I'm not gonna decode it because I already have it decoded as an image file now. So now what you're gonna want to do is exit out of that. I'll pull this over here. You want to run ISO. Uh, go to desktop. Find the ISO, which is right here. Open it up and open the image dot image, and bam, it works perfectly fine. Oh, I guess I probably could have told you guys about that too. Hold on one sec. So we're gonna open it back up. Um, this is how you. I forgot to tell you guys how to set up the uh, the game, like the your controllers and everything. So you can set it up where it um, it'll work off of an actual controller, or you could just do it how I do it, which is right off of your keyboard. Um, so you go in here and like for the um, second uh, left bumper or second trigger or whatever you want to call, it, I put it as two, and you can change it to whatever you want, whatever feels more comfortable, blah, just whatever you feel the need to have it as, and then click OK, and that's basically it. So it's really easy to install. I'll have everything ready for you, so you guys won't really have to do much. All you guys have to do is, um, if you have a game that's uh, in the format of ECM, you just have to download the pack ISO and basically convert it over to an image file and then run it on your uh, emulator. So that's it. Um, so this uh, tutorial was um, 
uh, somebody had uh, asked me a question in a personal message. Uh, his name is Slang Chavez, um, and I'll put a link to his channel right here. He's a fellow uh, Let's Player, and um, he does. He's doing a Pokemon. Uh, I think it's Emerald uh, Let's Play. He's doing Final Fantasy IV Advance, and he's also doing. Uh, one of the Legend of Zelda's. I don't know exactly which one for sure, but he's the one who asked me the question, so I thought I would uh, throw together a quick tutorial for you guys to uh, watch and learn. And yeah, that's basically it. So I'll see you guys in the next one. Rate, comment, subscribe. See you guys later. Peace.